What we've seen is a multinational effort uh, to cross a uh, U.S. Patriot Battalion. Uh, it's crossed the German River using a combined German and British bridge. Our armies are, are getting smaller, and we may not all have the assets that we used to, so we need to rely on each other even more. Uh, combined, together with all our forces and equipment, uh, there's nothing that we can't do. Um, there's a lot of wide rivers um, throughout Europe. There's a lot of wide rivers throughout the world. Um, and in order to have our freedom to move around, particularly um, in Europe, uh, we need to be able to cross this sort of, um, sort of obstacle. Uh, as our armies have got smaller, the number of people with the capabilities to actually cross a wide, wet gap uh, have reduced. Um, we need to work together. We all have smaller armies. Um, we all depend on each other to provide different capabilities, and we will always expect to work together. So to have this sort of exercise where we do practice that, working together in diff uh, difficult scenarios, um, it gives us the skills or we'll needs um, should we actually find ourselves having to do it for real. We defend in a static location, but we are, first and foremost, a maneuverable asset. Uh, we did that in Iraq in 2000. Three. We moved multiple units, uh, four, five, six hundred kilometers into Iraq to protect uh, maneuver forces and, and critical assets. So this is a skill that, yes, we most likely have not rehearsed or practiced in the last 10 or 12 years due to other focus, but uh, this is the basics that we need to get back to.